it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv and thanks for joining me as always. I am back today to do day four of the World Darts Championship from the Alley Pally. It's on Sunday, December the 17th and there is two sessions. The first session starts at 12.30 and the evening session is from 7pm. Both of the sessions have got prelims in, which as in the last video are best of three sets as opposed to the best of five. Oh, we're obviously a little way into the tournament now. There's probably been a few shocks, some really good talking points, maybe even a bit of needle on the stage. There'll definitely be some needle on the stage today because we have got um, Keegan Brown coming on there and it's his nickname. I think this kid's super. Yes, he's not come on where he was a couple of years ago, but I really like him. He's got a tough draw against James Wade, unfortunately. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through um, the predictions and that through both sessions in this one video. So as you can see, I've got the first afternoon sessions here and I'm going to start going through my predictions. As always, leave your comments at the end and let me know how far out you think I am. You guys have been amazing so far and we've got some great discussions going on. So to start um, off the afternoon session on Sunday, December the 17th, we, oh, just before I do that, I just want to say surnames. If I don't pronounce them or just say their first name, it's because I can't say the surname or I'm not sure how it's pronounced. And I'll tell you what, I'd be a bloody commentator's nightmare. If I was on telly and I was doing some of these things, I'd just have to go first name oh my god i'm sorry guys but anyway let's get on with it so the first game is against kenny against jamie lewis as you can see there i don't know much about kenny not seen him play a huge amount jamie lewis i think is really disappointed but he didn't come through into what i would say the first round proper and happened to do one of these prelim games but getting there is better than than not because there's a load of top quality players but aren't at the worlds this year but with the experience that jamie lewis has got and i know that he can play well i think that he will win this one two one we've then got alan norris against kim again norris heavy 180 hitter do have loads of problems with his doubles at time that let him down. But when he started in the 180s, his opponent's in big trouble. Yes, he loses some matches that he shouldn't. But he's going to have too much in the locker for Kim. And I think that Alan Norris will win this one 3-1. After that, we've got Carl Anderson against Peter Jacques. Now, Jacques, should I say? I think that Carl Anderson is going to win this one 3-1. Carl Anderson is one of my tips for the tournament to go deep into it. I think he's a quality player. Obviously, hitting a nine data last year at the Worlds as well. Um, I don't think that he's going to have any problems in the first round. I think that Peter will nick a set. However, uh, Carl will win this one. 3-1. So good luck, Carl. You're my tip for having a good run in this in this in the worlds this year. And to finish off, we've got Johnny Clay and the Ferret, who we know has had a really good year winning a players championship and also making the final of the actual player championships from Minehead recently. Um just losing that in the final. He's um obviously up against who I think is gonna be Lewis in that other one obviously could be Kenny but I think that Johnny Clayton's had a really good year he's established himself as a player he's got plenty of time on telly now so I think that he will come through this one 3-1. So as you can see, now I've now got them up there. They are my predictions for the afternoon session. Obviously leave your comments. If you don't agree with them, which obviously many of you won't, please leave them below and we'll chat about them. We then go on to the evening session, which starts at 7 p.m. So the first game is William uh, Willard Bruges sorry, against Cody Harris. Again, don't know too much about either player. I've heard some really good things about Cody. And that is for that reason that I'm going for him to win this one 2 one. Next one I cannot wait for. James Wade, the machine, he needs to have a good Worlds. He still wants to be in the Premier League. He still, he, he needs to get his rankings up and he needs to have a really, really good run here. Keegan Brown has not played, as I said at the start of the video, to the form that he was in probably, I don't know, a couple of years ago when he burst onto the scene, had a, I think he made it to the semis of a big tournament. Um... But he has got the ability to do it. But I can't see him getting past James Wade, who's in desperate need of a good run here. So I'm going for Wade to get through this one against Keegan Brown, 3-1. We've then got Chizzy Chisnell against Vincent van der Voort. 
Uh, it's going to be a quick game. It's going to be explosive. We know that Vincent van der is one of the fastest players in the world. We know that Chizzy plays better when he's playing against somebody who is also playing fast. So it was a hard one to call. Chizzy's not had what I would say the best of year. Vincent, we don't see as much as what we used to. But so I'm going to put Chizzy to beat Vincent on this one. 3-2. We then go to Ian Diamond White, the final game of um, the Sunday in the evening. He is obviously going to face who I think will probably be Cody Harris. I think that Ian White has got the class. He do sometimes lose sets that he don't, but all darts players do. But I think Ian White's going to have got plenty of experience. And I think that he could end up having a good world this year and go a little way into the tournament. Um, so I think that Ian White is going to win this one. 3-0. Actually, saying that, who is... Just remind me who Ian White's second game is on there, because I've just said that, but I've got a feeling he's got a bad, bad second round if he comes through that one. I'll have to have a look in there after this video. As always, guys, thanks for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, leave a like, your comments below. We'll have a chat about it, and I will see you for day five um, predictions. In the meantime... Do check out dartsplanet.tv. I have just set up an algorithm so that during the Worlds, my um, website will be scanning YouTube. So the minute anything come in there, World um, Darts Championship from the Ali Pali related, it's going to be pulling them into the site. So it's mobile friendly, it's easy to watch the videos from your phone, and you can um, get them all at a click of a button. So thank you again, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye.